Very nice. Ooh, blinding sunset. All right. <laughs> All right. Nice lake shore. Well, hello everybody. I'm the Mystic Zark. And we're back again for more Grand Theft Auto V online. Yeah, there's the mountain. Yeah. All right. So we're way up north here. Let's go to the map here. Way up north in Paleto Bay. Palito Bay? Palito Bay. Palito Bay. Hmm. Anyway, so, a little bit of a different thing today. I thought we'd uh, we'd get our last property. Yeah. So I'm looking at these. So, a little bit of a new old advice, you know, uh, for 2017 and beyond, I guess. Oh, busy, Mark. <laughs> um, yeah. So these days, you know, when this game first launched in the online world, you could actually only have one garage, which was terrible, you know. It's too bad I don't have two thumbs down. <laughs> but yeah, you could only have one garage. So most people went with a 10-car garage, obviously. Um, you know, and over time, they gave us a second 10-car garage, then a third, then a fourth, then a fifth. And then with the Bikers DLC, just soon enough, like days after, they gave us the sixth property. Okay? And then since then, they've also given us the Biker Clubhouse itself, which gives you 10 additional motorcycles, which is pretty awesome. And then they've also given you... Um, uh, the 60 car garages, or at least the potential for 60 car garages in your office. So it's uh, basically uh, three floors, or uh, three, I guess it'd be nine floors, yeah, three separate garages with 20 cars each in your office. So that's a lot of cars. So that's a grand total of uh, 120 vehicles you can store, plus another 10 motorcycles in your clubhouse. And that's not counting things like helicopters and planes and other Pegasus vehicles that you can't store in your garages. Things like tanks, things like that, that you have to call in because you can't store them. So that's a lot of vehicles. So, you know, compared to the when this game first launched, um, I don't think you need to worry as much about parking spots. Now, if any of you guys are new players, you might want to not do what I'm going to do here, um, for a little while anyway. You know, uh, the best value is definitely with the 10-car ten, ten garages. You get a heist room, you get a 10-car garage, um, it's well worth it. Specifically, I'd recommend the ones we get way earlier in our, in our show, in our episodes, the uh, Del Perro apartments right here. Yeah. So the Del Perro apartments, right across the road from the Maze Bank West office. And just across from the uh, Lum Bank office as well. But they're only about 200,000. About 200, and you get a heist room and a 10-car garage, and it's right across the road from the office. Okay, so that's probably the best one. And things like that around. Yeah, as far as value goes. So... Why am I doing that? So I thought, well, you know, it, yeah, best to branch out a little bit. And uh, there's this big gap all the way to the top of the, the map. And I thought, well, here and there we can put some, some maybe some mountaineering vehicles, you know, things I want to take up the mountain and play around with it. And I can park them in here, in our garage. Okay. So these two places are some of the, the higher medium places. Okay, so I'm going to bring that up on my map here or on, my, uh, on the uh, internet here. So you want Dynasty 8, the prime property in, in the Los Santos area. <laughs> View property listings. And this time we want medium. Okay? The reason being that they have six car garages. So might as well get the most we can. We're only losing four parking spots compared to the maximum. So I should still be able to have 126 <laughs> vehicles, which is plenty. I'll probably never fill that. Okay. Now the top one is actually just outside of town. And like I said, to me, you might as well just get the other places that are all around the town and the uh, stilt houses rather than bother with something like that. But, you know, you could. Other than that, the next two up, at the, from the highest to low, that is, is uh, these two properties that we're looking at. The Procopio, Procopio Drive. Yeah. So that would be 4401 Procopio Drive and 4584 Procopio Drive, right up the road here. Now we are going to buy this one, 4401 Procopio Drive. Mm hmm So let's buy that. Part of the Independence Day special. So they added this after the fact, uh, probably to give us a little bit of places that are out there. You know, but it wasn't quite enough, being that it doesn't have an ice room, and it doesn't have a 10-car garage, but still that's fine for us for now, being that we have so much else in Los Santos. So stunning views of the rapidly rising sea levels. <laughs> and talk about amenities. This Bledo Bay beauty is walking distance to a dive bar, hospital, funeral home, crematorium, and gun store. So you can go out on the town securing the knowledge that you're covered for every eventuality. <laughs> Includes a six-car garage. All right. Purchase property. There's our empty slot. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. $165,000, which is really cheap compared to the uh, newer prices nowadays. Yeah, so now we've got a, a, a non-10 car, non-high-end place, which is kind of cool. I've got, a, uh, I've got a bit of diversity to show you guys. So I've got the, uh, the old-style layout for the, for the high-end places, the newer-style layout, the customizable penthouse style. I guess you could count the yacht as well, uh, the stilt house, and just a plain garage, 10-car garage. Yeah. And now we've got a, uh, a regular place here. So before we go inside and check that out, yeah, there it is right there across the road from us. It's a nice house. If you ask me, it's it's obvious why it's the 15000 more. It's a little bit better of a property than the one we're going to go look at. So this is that other one. Okay, where is it here? Just up the road here. Right by Willie's supermarket here. So there's Willie's right there. Okay, so it's easy to find this one right here. Now this one's kind of nice, it does have uh, lots of parking, lots of uh, places for a helicopter to land, like here, you know, lots of areas, it's got a little area beside here where sand kings spawn and things like that, this little vacant lot. But to me, I found, I just kind of like the look of the property. See this one, I'm going to turn around a little bit too much for you guys, hope I'm not making you dizzy. dizzy. Well, that's probably Just friend, LKT, place is full. telling you that the Coke factory is full. <laughs> yeah. But there's the house below us, and right across the road is this house. So that's not so bad, but, you know, it's got a little bit of a house in the way of our of our beautiful view of the, the water, <laughs> the rising water levels. So I kind of liked this one down the road just a little bit better. And I think all around it's a better looking property. You know, and uh, there's lots of room to park and land, especially once you get good at landing, so it's not a big deal. So we're going to get a, a car probably in our next video here, a car to put in here, something so we've got a first vehicle to put in here. Alright, so plenty of room to park here. And there's our garage. So it looks like it is detached. But that's okay. I'm just happy to have a property in the north. Alright. Well, we're going to go on. I might as well have a look. I don't know if I've seen a six-car garage before. Yeah, there it is. It's funny to say that, but I've always been uh, getting 10-car garages, which is the best value, the best thing for new players to do. So that's what I've always done. This is the first time I've gotten anything smaller. It's nice. Shiny floors. It's nice to see a different garage for once. So this garage fits six, six cars. I wonder if it's like three across. Probably. Hmm. All right. There's a laptop for serving. Go at the door. Cool. little door animation. Nice. And it goes into the house. How about that? They're, they're not, they are attached. <laughs> well, why aren't the other places like this? Like the uh, stilt houses. Why wouldn't Rockstar have let you do that? Huh. Interesting. That's probably the front door there. Nope. No, that's not the front door. So it says the map. Yeah. So we got a bedroom in here. Nice. Get in bed. Change clothes, little bathroom, with a shower, right on. Some waterfront uh, pictures. It's all right. It is our waterfront picture our property here, up in the north anyway. Our rustic north property, our mountain property. Mountain uh, coastal property. I guess we can't open those. Too bad. Okay, so let's have a look. Right, so there's our living room. So it's nice to see a different layout than the ones I'm used to. Although I'm sure the other high end are technically better, but I like it. It's got a big screen TV. It's got a. It's got the uh, places to sit. Yeah. <laughs> and mo <laughs> tissues and lotion. That's awesome. Looks like you can smoke cigarettes here. It looks like. Huh. Yeah, and the TV. There's our table. Little kitchen over here. Some whiskey. Yeah, it looks like there's a beer on the counter behind me. By the fridge there. Nice. Beer, yeah. Radio. 
turned uh, turned off at the moment. I guess that's about all there is to see in, in these ones, isn't it? Huh. Nice, very nice. All right. So, where is the front door then? That's the windows. Uh, let's see. That must be a dual door. Yeah, exit apartment, enter garage. I guess it calls it an apartment. There we go. A little animation to leave. You can see inside. Oh, nice. On the air front. All right. Cool. And there's the front. Very nice. All right. Cool. Hope you guys like that. All right. So let's have a look back in here. Just to remind me. <laughs> so yeah, that's Procopio Drive. So the other one we looked at was 4584, and this is 4401. I do believe. Procopio Drive. Alright guys, so like I said, I'll, get, I'll see you guys back for the next episode. I think I'm going to get some kind of vehicle in here. I'm thinking uh, one that I used to use in the original version of the game that I haven't had in a while. One that I haven't, uh, one that I've been meaning to get for a long time and just haven't gotten around to. Well, we'll fix that today. Yeah. <laughs> now we've got a mountain property in the north. Alright. Hope you like that, everybody. I'm the Missing Zark. If it helped you out, hopefully it did. Maybe gave you some thoughts on what you could do in your own game. Uh, give us a like. It helps us out. And if you're new, uh, you should subscribe. It's free. Helps us out, too. All right. And if you guys already have your uh, properties full, six properties full, you can easily overwrite any properties. It'll give you money back on your other property. Okay. Um, you might want to check to make sure, because I think you actually lose a little bit of money when you do that, though. But uh, if you, you know, some of these small um, and low-end properties are not very much money to upgrade them. So you might want to consider it, you know, if you already had your six properties full. Okay. If you got a 10-car garage out there, you might want to change it to something like this or something like that. It's an idea. Something different. That's what I was shooting for. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See you back here soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Oh, actually, I'm going to get a car. Yeah, let's go back inside. Right. Woohoo. Nice. I like it. Sweet. Oh, it's got a backyard. Hey. Well, we already knew that from flying around. But, uh, still. I've seen that little pathway there. I really like how you can go between the garage and the, uh, and the uh, inner unit without having to go outside. It'd be nice if the other units let you do that. <laughs> I guess you can't fit in there. It's an odd thing. I guess it's for... For short people. Hmm. <laughs> all right, is that a gate or did I just jump? Yeah, it's gate. I didn't need to jump it at all. All right, no back door access. Too bad. It's okay. And we got this little courtyard area here. Does that open? No. That's an easy jump though. We've got a gate on the other way, on their side anyway, right? That must be the edge. Got all this protective wall. Cool. So that's it back, everybody. <laughs> A little bit of after check. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go order a vehicle. Bye, everybody.